We good? What's up, guys? Let's uh, let's hey, go coach. with Dash and then Jordan. Fire away, Dash. All righty. Hey, Coach. Uh, I know in this conference, uh, you can never sit around feeling sorry for yourselves when you're going through it like a little skid like you are. But that yep. being said, kind of how is the team responding? Are you having to kind of get guys' uh, moods feeling a little better? No, you know, th this team all year, Dash, has been great um, between games, win or lose. Um, it's it's more of the end game issues in terms of, of responses. Um, how do we respond to a couple empty possessions to um, – uh, to a couple of possessions where we can't uh, come up with stops. You know, that's where we've got to get, get a little bit better. I thought um, uh, mid second half um, in Starkville, Starkville, we were really good play with a lot of toughness. And then we just, we had a couple of tough decisions defensively, which led to some threes, which led to all of a sudden you're down six or nine and then didn't respond well there where um, probably a little bit easier to respond Um emotionally when you're down double digits and you've got nothing to lose. And, you know, we've, we've done a really good job in that category, but in these close ones, um, we've got to do a better job moving forward down the stretch. That said, we have played really good teams. We've played NCAA tournament teams. Um, and nothing will be different here uh, tomorrow as we play Arkansas in Bud Walton, which is always a, a very tall task. Mike, Arkansas is uh didn't have a midweek game. Just when you mm. look at a team this time of year, just how big of an advantage is that for them? Not only that they might have had a few extra days to prepare for you guys, but that they were able to maybe heal up a little bit this week. I, you know, I'm not sure, you know, what Coach Muss, um, how he – probably a better question for him. Um, you know, we've had, we've had uh, seven days between games before and you don't play well, uh, whether they're home or away, and we've had – games where you've uh where you've got you know seven day break and you prep and you play really really well so it's just um it's a factor that can go either way um you know uh who, who knows i mean i think i think more of it probably depends on on how you're practicing and and um and how you execute in those 40 minutes go to palmer and then the chip yeah, Mike, when you guys go back and watch the tape from that first game, what just stands out to you about uh, what it was that helped you all come out on top? Oh, man, it was so long ago. And and I'm I just so – we just stepped off the practice floor where we, you know, ran up and down for a couple hours. Um, you know, I, I thought we were playing well then. Uh, we played with a lot of confidence offensively, you know, especially – Early on, we had we actually had some misses early on, on some looks that, that could have gone for us. I uh, really struggled to defend, uh, especially Mark down down the stretch. Uh, and it, you know he's very tough to to contain. They missed some shots for us. Um, we're gonna have to play better, you know, in, again on the road in this league, especially in that environment. Uh, yeah, Coach, uh, I guess, you know, a little bit of a, a a big picture question. Obviously, you're in the throes of it right now in the middle of the season, so nobody knows how this is going to turn out. But obviously, you're in another uh, situation where you've lost uh, several games consecutively and losing ground. In your opinion, uh, what what's it going to take to get there? Uh, I, I guess uh, it, it feels like this team's got some depth, right? Uh but but maybe he's missing some size uh and you know what you got with the portal these days you you know guaranteed that you're you're re-recruiting i guess as soon as the season gets over so um where do you feel about the the foundation of the program right now you feel pretty good about the direction you're going and uh with, keeping in mind you still got games left to go this team's Profile's not written yet. Yeah, it's it's more a part of your uh, the the last statement that, that you made um, in terms of where my mindset is uh, that we've got games to go. You know, we've got uh, we were focused on practice today. Had a great practice, focused on an opportunity tomorrow in our at Arkansas. Um, got a bunch of opportunities ahead for us. Um, I feel coaching good guys every day. Uh, had a, a good recruiting year last year. Um, 
have a on our way to another very good class. Uh, but that said, we're focused on these guys and um, and what opportunities lie here, you know, in front of us, because we've been competitive, you know, against some of the best teams in the country. And um, we just got to keep focusing on on this team and, and the opportunities ahead and, and maxing out because uh, I I just feel like we can get over the hump. If I could follow it, just a, probably a more fair question. The issues you're dealing with right now, you got a four game yeah. skid, as uh, Dash referred to. Yeah. You feel like it's more of an offensive or defensive issue because it's kind, you know, it's hard, it's hard yeah. to tell, right? Well, it's some of both, and, and uh, you know, let's. I, I can't even tell you off the top of my head right now because I'm so focused on Arkansas, who the last four opponents even were. But I, you know, yeah. our league now, it's it's were we favored by 15 in all four of those games and the wheels are falling. It's, it's not that scenario. It's right. we're losing to very good teams um, who we had chances to beat. So there's some positive, obviously. Uh, do I like the fact that we've lost four in a row? Is it four in a row mobs? No, but um, if you, again, if we sit here and sulk, we got no shot at Arkansas. I loved the fight in Starkville. I mean, uh, we got open looks early against one of the stingiest defenses in the league I like that response because we kept fighting and fighting and did some good things. And all of a sudden we found ourselves down three with what, five minutes left, um, which a lot of teams in our league that, that may not have been the case. So um, it, there's a combination there, you know, there's empty possessions. There's a um, couple little advised decisions. There's um, some inexperienced mistakes here and there, you know, we're, we're, we've got, um, we've got a couple of freshmen playing a lot of minutes that are really good that I think are going to be really good players. Um, overall, um, I would say our inefficiency from two, both offensively and defensively has been our biggest, um, crutch, uh, the fact that we, we struggle to score it on the interior, uh, really struggle to score, it, especially, um, in comparison to the rest of our league. And the same thing with, um, with our two point percentage defense with our rim protection, We've just really struggled in those areas. Our, our margin for error defensively um, is pretty small, um, but these guys are going to keep fighting and and, uh, and competing. And Thanks. our last question comes from the hashtag Ask Coach White. Mark from Athens wants to know what has led to Dylan James getting more playing time, and what does he bring to the court? Weiser can't have he's all the other screw ups on Ask Coach. White. Oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> Dylan James uh, had a really good one today. Um. He's just he's just consistently brought it daily. He's very skilled, got a great feel, very talented, 6'9 with a long wingspan. Um versatile offensively. He's made a big jump defensively throughout the year in practice. I thought his minutes were really valuable in Starkville. And I thought he didn't play a lot, but it was his best game. He belonged out there. He looked like he belonged. His confidence never wavers. And he's a guy that, you know, we'll see down the stretch. He's going to get opportunities because he's earned them, and uh, hopefully he capitalizes. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yep, thanks, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.